Hey, hi. Uh, I've been working on making cordage per the Vermont Venture Challenge. <laughs> you know, because that's a thing I do. Um, and I've made some yards of this. This is, uh, this fiber is daylily blossom which actually makes kind of an awesome cordage. There's the ancient system of wrapping it around your toe to keep it, um, keep it organized. But, um, it's not very difficult, but it is meticulous work. Because to make this particular kind of cord work, you gotta, I don't know if you can see, I'm twisting with my right hand and bringing it over. And the twist, this is the important part, goes the opposite direction. And I'm about to splice in a new piece. So I'm gonna look in my bin uh, for another piece that's already been softened. I'm just going to lay that alongside. And start twisting it. That won't be really stable as a thread for about another half inch. But that's how they all get started. And I don't know if can't stress this enough. The strength of the cord and its holding together power comes from you twist the small fiber opposite the direction that you move it. And it's that opposite motion that keeps the strands working against each other and keeps I don't know there's probably some way to express it in terms of coefficient of friction So, if you're still watching, you now have an idea of why this is a process we managed to mechanize and automate fairly early on. So, since I started, I've made, I think, this much, so it goes pretty quick. Well, not as quick as you might like it to. But 
I'm going to tie a little knot there and save that work. And I don't have to tie it real tight because I'm not going to move it anywhere. But I just want to take a moment and show you another method. I'm going to grab a, going to grab a strand. And this strand makes a, this strand makes a, a two. This style makes a two string. Um, anyway, you take it and you roll the fibers this way, keeping them separate, and then you let it snap back. And this will make a nice two strand thread. And then holding it there, whoops. You have to start with one that's uh, uneven, otherwise you can't splice into it. But that was maybe too uneven. So I'm going to splice a new piece into it. Just by beginning the rolling. Now if you put your finger there, you can And the idea behind that is once again we got the roll going one way and then the fiber itself whoops broke off but I got a lot of raw fiber so I'll start again <laughs> put that aside That's a good one. Maybe not. Too broad at the end of the leaf there. That would make a nice fine fiber, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll split that one. All right, so it's that roll one way and let it twist back. And you just let it twist. And then roll again and let it twist. And roll again let it twist back. That makes a pretty nice cord. And I'm going to put this one in. Splice that in. And it's the twist back that's going to hold that in place with the other one. Roll and let it twist. The plant fibers themselves are pretty tough. stronger when they're twisted and um, see there I got a splice on it. This is not the method I'm best at and I prefer a three strand cord but um this will do, and it's quicker, I guess, when you get good at it. Makes a nice springy cord. I'm going to start in a splice on that one. And of course, you can use this for, I don't know, tying up your garden in a hurry, or if you're like me, you want to use it to make a little outdoor type projects or you know just for the fun of 
making string just because you can My hands got tangled and that won't do. Yeah, so see, I made a couple inches of cord just like that. Later on, I'm probably going to use this to build a little boat. I'm going to use cord like this. And that's where my end broke, so I'm going to call that uh, day on that. So that's my demonstration at any rate. I need a little more practice for that two-strand method, but it makes pretty reasonable cord. And that's, uh, that's that. So I'm going to turn this camera off, and I'm going to go back to making this cord for a while. And then I'll probably recoil it so it looks pretty. And uh, that's that. I'll talk to you later.